one. I'm Martin Tyler. He's Alan Smith, and we're going to talk about this match today from the commentary position. Hi there, Martin. Yeah, and expecting big things here. There's a great atmosphere. Northampton Town playing today will face Yeovil Town. Well, this is how the home team shape up. Well, more often than not, we're looking at teams that shape up this way, Alan. Yeah, such a popular system, 4-2-3-1. It gives you a lot of stability, and if you're front four, as you might describe them, are good players, it's a really potent system. Well, let's have another look at that, because it was a very, very tight call. They were in otherwise. When I saw it, first time of asking, I thought he was on, you know, but looking at the replay, what a good decision from the linesman that was. Goal news from Carlisle. It's a goal for Bristol Rovers. Six minutes played, 1-1. One, one. Cheers, Alan. Well, just to check on the visitors here, they have been exceptional in their away matches. Actually, they've got the best away record in the league. Well, they must love getting on the coach and visiting away grounds. Eight wins in the last nine away games. Marvellous. Well, There's good progress with this attack. Eye-catching football, really. It just got to a stage where they actually took the eye off the ball, literally, and they've lost the ball. Richards. Paul Corrie. Goal news from Plymouth. It's a goal for the visitors. 12 minutes played, 1-0. The break is definitely on. That move nipped in the bud by the raising of the flag from the assistant. It looked to me like the timing of the pass and the run was spot on, but a closer inspection, no, he was off. Well, that's a good challenge between the two of them there. Graswell. Diamond. Here's a chance to attack. Space for the shot! No, no, no! Well, the defenders could only watch and pray because they'd been left for dead. But he just couldn't finish it. A goal from uh, Dagenham. It's a goal for Notts County. 20 minutes played, 1-1. Thanks, Alan. Quick change of possession here oh in goes the cross and that's dealt with the problem sometimes attack is the best form of defense they've been doing a lot of defending now they can do a bit of attacking and relieve some of that stress at the back right slid in at him somehow he got out of the way well this is shots on here but he's had a go well, if you don't buy a ticket, as they say, and uh, fair play to him for having a crack. Goal news from Exeter. It's a goal for Exeter City. 26 minutes played, 1-0. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. This might be it! Oh, fantastic goal! What a finish this was. Really did put his boot through it to find the left-hand side. And that has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. Well, there's some drama in the game being watched by our good friend Alan McInally. Ascending off, I believe. Alan. It's a red card for the home team. They're down to 10 men. 28 minutes played. It remains 1-1. Well, many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. 
Richards. Cresswell. Great passing. And the crowd really enjoying it. Well, that had been very promising, but no longer. This is how they love to play on the break. Shots off! What a goal! And that is a joy to behold. It's just floated up into that top right-hand corner. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. It's a good ball, they could be in. Going to try it. A oh, great work by the keeper. Free kick given by the ref. Nemov. Opportunity now. Well, that doesn't look good at all, does it? I don't know whether he'll be able to continue. A muscle tear, maybe. What a day he's having. Three goals now. He's been a thorn in the side of the opposition all match, and he thoroughly deserves that hat-trick. I have to say, it's so one-sided today, but all credit to the team that are racking up the goals. Paul Corrie. It's confidently done to dink the ball into a teammate like that. There's a damaged muscle here, it might be a pull, he might be out for some weeks. Now that's a throw. Some good work by the medical team here to get this fella back onto the pitch. Yeah, I think he had... This could be a chance. Oh, it's the goal! Oh, poor chap, it's an own goal. Well, it is a goal, it is an own goal. I don't think there's much doubt about that, Alan. No, none at all. You're in those positions so often and sometimes it does go wrong. Well, that own goal has put them behind. Adam, and it will go into the middle now. Dawson. Well, the losing team have now got a chance, really, to re-establish themselves in this game. I'm sure they got a bit of a telling off from their coach at half-time. Maybe something a bit stronger than that. Anyway, away we go. Well, this is a real shock. You can see it in the faces of the players, and you can hear it in the lack of noise, if you like, from the supporters. Well, those fans can't even be bothered to give their players any stick at the moment. They're just 
stunned into silence. Great tackling technique to win the ball cleanly. Oh, he's through. And here's the shot. Here's the shot, and it's just wide of the target. Nemov. shot he is a savior there we see a substitute coming on for the away team here goal news now from orient it's a second goal for morecambe 58 minutes played 2-1 thanks alan Shots on here, into the goalkeeper's hands, and uh, not really challenged the keeper then. Ventosa. Dawson. That's a useful ball in. Adams. Good hands, bread and butter work really by the goalkeeper, but he did it very competently. He's having a good game. That's a free kick. Substitution going on is it's the four. man of the match, I think we should say, the central midfield player. I don't want to put words into your mouth, my friend, but he's uh, he seems to have been in control of pretty much it. Wonderful save. Had to really reach out for that. Now it's a corner. There's going to be a substitution. It's for the away team. Holmes. No cross, good block. Safety first there. He's put it out. It's gone out for a corner. I think the coach will be considering his options on the bench. Richards. We've got the away manager indicating he wants to make a substitution now. He might be through. Nice piece of tackling here. And that's... Uh, Strong defending. Gibbons. This could be it. And shoots! Got it beyond the keeper, but just beyond the post. Bird. Paul Corry. This is the sort of side with the credentials to win the league, and they're getting themselves in a good position to do that. They are. I mean, they've not been uh, phased at all by being top. Sometimes it can affect teams uh, in, a, in a less than positive way, but uh, they look as if they're made for that top ranking. And the whistle has gone because the assistant flag for offside. If he had a cap on, he could have thrown it on the ball. It's that simple for the goalkeeper. And the referee does blow. The flag was up from the assistant. Ventosa. This has been called a football match, but it hasn't been 
much of a match-up between the two sides. The winners... Shot on! A oh, great work by the keeper. And he knocks in the goal. Offside given, Allen. Oh, I'm not sure he's got that one right, you know. I think he was on. Substitution. When we watch these teams, sometimes players, you know, they're quite happy to go off. I don't think this is one of those players, uh, but he's got to go off now. The change is going to be made. Yeah, listen, it wasn't for the one to try in. He kept on going. He's a brave and honest boy, but uh, just not his day. Dawson. Paul Corrick. Diamond. Holmes. Ben Tozer. And that will be a throw. And in goes the cross. As well, three minutes to be added on. At least three minutes of added time. Paul Corry. Keeper's ball. Well, no contest in the end. A comprehensive win by four goals to nil. What a brilliant performance from this fella. Well, he goes across and grabs the match ball from the ref, a hat-trick, and that's to be treasured by any player. Well, we've seen a game here, Alan, where one team has had the ball and the other team hasn't. <laughs> yeah, there was... Um...